I picked for you. Wonderful. Lots of elder. That happens every time. <laughs> I, whenever I clean the, we have a new oven. We got the gas cooktop. Which and, is wonderful. And when you lean over it, it that clicking sound, it, and I get, I get my hands in there. I've got shocked by it twice. It's I have really, not been shocked yet. Uh, you don't want to be. So we got elderberries. So what we have to do is we have to take them off the stem. I have a question. Yeah. Are they organic? Of course they're organic. Are they're they from the pasture? Are they free range? They're free range, organic. Pasture? Pasture fed. <laughs> they're the whole. They're the whole deal. So oh, I was yeah. saying. I was saying in the video yesterday that um, fermenting now is the cool thing to do, right? It so is it's, cool. It's, 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 well, it's been thing. fun for years. But all the trendies are doing it. It's true. And so, I mean, there's a good reason. It's so good for your gut. Yeah. I want it to be cool too. So I thought this was my version of fermenting because I, I don't want to make sauerkraut. And they say if it. your gut is good, your brain is good. They're connected. Well, I, who can argue with that? So what's not good are the stems on these. That's right. They're toxic. And getting elderberries off the stem is a tedious little process. I've seen, I watched some guys on YouTube and they was like, they were sitting there with a fork and I thought, Ooh, I can do that type of thing. I don't know if I could do that for 11 pounds. So some very, a trick, right? very clever individual. What's the trick? You freeze them, freeze them. And it apparently it's makes it much easier for them to come off the stem. So we have three, <clears throat> excuse me. Nice. Big flim blobber. So we <laughs> the beauty of being able to edit, right, baby? <laughs> so we have three cookie sheets, uh, and what we're going to do is I'll start rinsing, and then we're going to lay them out on the cookie sheets, and we're going to freeze them. It's only going to take an hour or two to freeze them, and then we'll shake them off. We haven't done it before, but we're I think it'll work. So do we do we want to just freeze them first and then clean them afterwards? Since we have to go through, otherwise we have to go through them twice. So, these are handy little guys. What are these? Um, so actually, we got these. Uh, I registered the, for these when we got married. Oh. And they're just. So you, you, can you can adjust them. Nice yeah, so you have two of them. Yeah. So I'm just going to pour these. I'll get you started over here. I'll pour these in. Mm -hmm. So you know that that's can fermenting you? over there too, right? Right. And I guess, you know, what we kind of want to be. They're pretty ripe, so we wanted to be kind of careful and not break the skins. Okay. Looks like caviar. Not that I would know. Your favorite. I've never, never eaten it. My granddad, he, uh, you know, he never, you know, granddad, he never complained about anything. Yeah. There's two things that he didn't like. He didn't like peas. That's right. And he did not like caviar. He said he, someone gave him some one time, and he said, "Man, those fish eggs started popping in my mouth. It was all I could do." <laughs> I will admit it's probably not my favorite either. So it's been two days after your marathon. How do you, how do you feel? You know, I feel surprisingly well. My legs are not, you know, going down the stairs, they're a little bit stiff, but I feel really good. Lucy and Heart Racer love to play. This is new. Heart Racer gets under the couch now. This just started last night. <laughs> I like how once in a while Lucy just stops because her brain dies and just sits there with her mouth open. What was I doing? Her brain just stops. She's waiting to, to play. Nope, she just sits there with her mouth open like, huh? I like how Lucy keeps pushing her paw. Like, oh. All right, so we got the cookie sheets. I want to shake these out a little bit more and I'll get some more. How many pounds do you think we have here? Um, I've got a scale right there, baby. We'll weigh them afterwards. I've got a few more outside, but I, we need, for the recipe, we need well, 11 pounds. I'd like to make a little um, medicinal use elderberry. Well, I've got this, I think how many gallons? That's seven, ga seven gallon bucket and probably another couple gallons outside. Awesome. All right. We, I can probably go get some more tomorrow too. What if you put a orange around me yet? So it looks like a bullseye. An orange around it? You know, like orange paint around the edge. So I, it like really attracts your attention. Okay. 
We're trying to figure out a clever way to get Mrs. W to look into the lens instead of. I, I always want to look at. I want to look at Cody's eyes. <laughs> I got to remember not to complain about that. <laughs> You're so handsome, baby. I just want to look at you. All right. Okay. Well, you um, you got to talk to your, talk to your people. They're. Oh, I want to talk to you, the, Cody. The people, I want to explain this. The people in the in the camera. Okay. okay. So, anyways, this so what, is this is you, a scale where you can you know you can zero it, uh, but if you want to get the weight of your container because I have two of the same container, you can zero it. You know with a container on top and then when we weigh it it'll take the container weight away and you'll just get the elderberry weight so let's do a, a guessing game here okay uh i'm guessing that the berries are gonna weigh in that so that, three... that amount you can see this amount right here that amount right there i am guessing that's gonna weigh 3.5 pounds okay what are let's... you what are you guessing uh can i lift it no you have to just guess um i'm gonna guess less 2.7 can I change my guess? <laughs> no. I'm going to change <laughs> no, that. And I shouldn't say 2.7 because it's ounces and it's 16 ounces and this weighs right, well, ounces. Let's, let's see. So two and a half pounds, I'm going to guess. All right. Okay. I'm going to change mine to three pounds. Okay. But things always weigh more than you think, like yourself. <laughs> so you were... 3.8 pounds. I should have stuck with the first yeah, one. Yeah, so it's just a little over three and a half pounds. So you were right on with your first guess. Well, I was also calculating without the stems. It was the gross weight. So I'll be per it'll be right on after that. <laughs> you just have to be right today, huh? <laughs> <laughs> you win. You win. <laughs> Everything is about winning, isn't it? Some uh, people in this family are a little competitive. <laughs> So Mrs. W just recently got Jack a Kindle. Is this is this how you homeschool upside down? Yep. You're like Mork. Is it Mork for Mork? Mork. What's Mork for Mork? It was a really bad TV. Mork and Mindy, Mork and Mindy TV sitcom we used to watch. He used to. He was an alien and he sat on the couch upside down on his head. I was really into it for a while. I had the suspenders and everything. We have uh, really been enjoying uh, the new wood stove. I mean, can you believe the difference? I can't believe that we've needed it so much. It's wonderful. It's the first time, the first time ever since we've lived here that we've come downstairs and the house is warm. It's actually so warm in the house now that we, we don't like to sleep in a hot, warm room, so we close the door and, and it surprises me when I open the door and the heat rushes in. Well, and it actually it's kind of tragic. We've been wearing our down coats. Like, we would get up in the morning and we put our down coats on and sometimes a hat because our house is cold. It's just really it's cold. So cold. Yeah. It was. It was. It is time to put these in the freezer. So we're going to do three and a half pounds at a time. Right. All right, let's do it. You got room in there? I don't think so. I think these might be too... Well, they might fit. You, the the old wearing... the old don't open the freezer because something might fall out. Ah! Are you wearing tie dye? <laughs> yeah, well, I actually did this. So this this was this awful color and it had tons of stains on it. And so I went ahead and uh, used green tie dye. Um, so yes, I did. <laughs> so I always get a lot of comments about your interesting aprons. Where do you get these aprons? Uh, you know, a variety of places. This one I just saw and I liked all the flowers, so I, I purchased. But. Um, I've got some for my grandmother, and I've got, yeah. So let's see if we can push the capacity. <laughs> We're all about pushing the envelope here. Um, the problem, the, the beauty and the problem with the end of the harvest is, you know, I've got all my zucchinis and peaches, and I don't know if this is a good idea or not. Uh, it looks like a bad idea. Okay. Um, let's... Can we get it on top? We turn it the other yeah, way. Yeah, I think we turn it the other way. Let's. Well, how about we pull this out? Just stack them on top of each other. Uh, I think I, I'm trying to not to smash them. See if, see if you can kind of just bridge the gap there. Kind of crisscross like a cri cribbing there, and then put the other one. Whoops. Uh, I've got room in the other freezer. Okay. So I'll, I'll put it in the other freezer. I think that would be okay. okay. Back by popular demand, Mount Fuji. Oh, we're gonna watch the snow line drop. Winter is coming, it's the last day of summer, and it feels like it. 
So I was just look, you know, it's just incredible, incredible what uh, how this journey, uh, what this journey, this journey that we have taken here on the many years on YouTube and and the wonderful people and support we've received from the channel. It uh, it warms our heart. Mrs. W is now, you know, of course, she's very active and involved in the channel and we read and answer comments together. And it's just hard to believe that there are so many people out there that are willing to spend their time and watch the videos. And we're so grateful. And I want to just take a minute to to thank all of you who have been so faithful with the channel. Where what are we currently at? Four hundred and twenty three thousand subscribers. I have always, I never ever thought we'd ever see a half a million subscribers, but it looks like it might be possible. I invite you, if you haven't subscribed, to do that now. Help us to push it up to that point. We could do something special, but man, what a milestone that will be for the family. We would be uh, be so proud and so honored uh, to reach that. So thank you. Thank you very much. Don't forget to thumbs up and like the videos. Uh, it helps, uh, helps the channel, helps support us, and we really appreciate that. And boy, we're gonna do get into the elderberry wine. We got the carboys. We got all the equipment. I even bought a little a corking machine, a little simple tabletop corking machine. All this is new to me. I've never done it before, so we're gonna be kind of learning together. But that'll be coming up. We'll be shooting uh, the rest of that today. So I guess that's it. I don't have anything else to add. But I really appreciate all the support. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys on the next video.